Thanks for tuning in to this video guys. Today we will write our very own trainer. Make sure to watch the whole video because otherwise you might run into problems. A pastebin will be included in the description as well. Before we do anything you need to understand certain things. This is only a simple trainer and it will not work for every game out there. You can also get banned for cheating in games using this method which I'm not responsible for. Only you are. Now that we understand the risk, let's go over the needed software. Sheet Engine, Visual Studio with c .net framework installed, and Assault Cube. All of these links will be listed in the description. So to explain briefly what a trainer is, it would be writing some code to mess with the game's memory. For example, this could be giving the player unlimited health points or ammunition. Now a reminder, make sure to research the game you want to make a trainer for so you don't get banned for doing this. So let's jump into Assault Cube and check out what we can do. I want to freeze the pistol ammo. Let's open Sheet Engine and find the address for it. Now that we have the address for the pistol ammo, we'll make a pointer scan. Now we can restart the game again and get the address for the pistol ammo. Then filter out the bad pointers. Now choose a pointer with the game name .exe in it. In this case it would be ac underscore client .exe and the less offsets the better. I will check one more time if the pointer is valid after restarting the game. Now that we have checked a little bit if our pointer works, we will write it down in the notepad. Now for the second part of the video, writing it in C sharp. I had to restart my computer but everything we needed was the address we wrote down. I 
I chose to make it in a WIM form, but if you prefer a console application, it's quite similar code. A checkbox to enable or disable the unlimited ammo would be nice, so we'll add that. Double click in the middle of the form to get the load method. Before we write anything, we'll need to get the memory wrapper from the new get package manager. The 86-bit version works fine with 32-bit games as long as we don't uncheck prefer 32-bit in the application's properties. We add the application manifest file and edit it so we can make the application run in admin mode. We'll declare a variable to use the wrapper. Now we write down our pointer as a string to use in our program. The pointer needs to be rewritten to fit our memory class. That means removing the quotes, which are in the wrong places, then add an zero and an X after a plus sign. To add an offset, just put comma and then the offset. Let's move on to the load method. To check if the game is running, we'll ask the proc ID via meme.getprocid from name. To get the correct process name, open Task Manager, then look in the Details tab. Of course you need the game running in the background. Now to check if the game is running, the getprocid method will return anything above zero. Now we can open the process using procid. To have the pistol ammo always changed to a value, we can use a timer which does this automatically. Set the intervals to 10 milliseconds for it to be almost instant. Now double click on the timer to get the timer tick method. 
here we write our address each time it takes. Our pistol ammo was an integer and we want to set it to something high like 99999. Now the last thing would be to start the timer after we have opened the process. Now let's test our trainer. Now here is the point where I forget to add an operator if we have checked the checkbox or not. The trainer works fine but as you can see I have not checked the unlimited ammo. We can easily change this with an if statement in the tick method. Now you can see it's stuck at 99999 and when it's unchecked it goes down. So thank you guys for tuning in to this video. Make sure to leave a comment if you're having troubles with the tutorial but make sure to try fixing it yourself first. See you guys.